Hello and welcome to Blue Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Blue Average Gamer. Thank you for joining us today. I'm really appreciative that you are here. Almost ran over my words there really fast. But yeah, thanks for joining us. As you can see, I am in the Hello Miners server. Welcome back. So excited to see you back after our little season finale. Finale. After our season finale. Glad to see that you finally made it back. Appreciate I'm dying. I'm dying. God, no one kills me but me. And here I am. Welcome. Anyway, today, what I'm going to be doing is giving you a basic little rundown of how Hello Miners works. I'm on this server a lot. You always see me playing on this server a lot. So here we go. I'm just going to show you how everything works. Boo, 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 boo. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go spawn. That way I can be in the same shoes that you're in when you start the server. Now we tried to do this a couple times and things didn't go quite as planned. But this time we're going to go ahead and just click that button to get started. Boom. And we're teleported instantly. You can just click it again if that doesn't work. Just click it again if that don't work. I guess the tutorial is out of order today. Interesting. Perfect. Then I can just show you exactly how everything works. Let's get started. Again. For the first time. Over. So here you have the city. As you can see, it's loading over that way. It's loading over that way. Loading over that way. Because it's huge. Huge, gigantic. A lot of other descriptive words that allow me to figure out what I'm going to say next. But yeah, as you can see, it's really, really big. It has a large plethora of buildings: tall buildings, short buildings, small buildings, large buildings. The EGO Tower, which has become a landmark. Um, no matter who buys it, it cannot be destroyed. Same for a lot of these other buildings here. But yeah, if you ever have any questions beyond what I'm going to teach you here. You can just go warp C, you spawn, go to the tutorial, warp C, come down here. Here's a button that'll get you the help hub so that you can figure more things out. Since you apparently can't learn them on your own, but I'm not saying anything. But this is the city. Cool thing about the city, if you look, nothing can be destroyed. Why? Because it's owned by someone else, you silly goose. And when something's owned by someone else, you don't get to have any control of that property. Buh, 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 buh. Now, if you want to get somewhere, this is one of the big questions that people often ask when they join the server. How do I get to the wild? Well, here's my suggestion. Warp to a city that's not a main city. So don't warp to the main city, because on the other end of it's water, on the farther end of it's further city. Warp to, like, VC. Go in any direction. I usually suggest going backwards. And you're going to want to go to the wilderness. Just keep on walking to hit the wilderness. This here is my newest building. I'm going to be making that the below average headquarters. As you can see, there's a link to the channel there in tinyurl if you go into the building tinyurl.com slash below average gaming I know right I can't believe I got that either here we go you're just gonna walk in any direction for maybe two three minutes VC is the best for this warp VC is the best for this um in my opinion it's the first one that I did when I asked to go to the wild but yeah if you look things are kinda getting a little more eyesorey because we're getting to a spot where people can build without rules, without laws. There's, there's, no, nah. ooh, there's no rules out here. There's no one to enforce the eyesore regulations. So, oh look, Pronana is saying hi. Oh boy, look, it's a, uh, a spammer. It's a good thing that I'm recording. Because uh, now there's proof, there's evidence. Oh, this guy. This guy wants to fight me, it looks like. Boom. And this right here, actually, for history's sake, was my first building ever on the server. Look at that. We're in the wilderness, by the way. <clears throat> We're in the wilderness, by the way. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, this is my first building. As you can see, it has the big S's, the original logo that I used for all my buildings. I used to do everything in gray and black, kind of gave uniformity. Over here we have um, my first sheep farm. You can still hear them in there. I didn't ever sell it. I just wanted to build elsewhere, so I kind of just blocked it off. It's a tree farm up on top. This is where I used to practice my buildings before I made them. There's a tower there. There's a tower there. I should actually go back and redo all of these um, buildings because some of them are actually pretty decent pretty decently made I really should go back and try to recreate some of these obviously a little bit more set up 
The nest but ooh, that guy's Yeah, I remember all this. I think the reason that I got rid of it was because I got griefed. Someone, yeah, someone came and destroyed all these when I hired them to do a job for me. I hired someone to do a job for me. They destroyed all this. Um, stole my horses. Killed my horse. I had some really rare characters. Like, I had a skeleton horse. I had a zombie horse. And I got them. So out of frustration, I just abandoned this town. But yeah, this was my old town. I think I, I might have sold it for like 2k or something. Something that really wasn't worth it. I think this whole land is worth like 18,000. Something close to that. But yeah, you know. I'm really glad that I've been recording. Because, okay. I try not to mute people. A lot of people on the server will be like, oh yeah, you can just mute someone if they're being annoying. But if you mute them, you don't get to take part in all the fun that is their own stupidity. Guys, just ignore Pranona. Bob Banana, you're the best. Love ya. Oh, now I can't put this in the video. I probably will, because it's going to be a report either way, so... Whatever. What else can I show? Oh, right. I was going to show you how to do things. So let's go find some genuine wildland that's not owned by me, not owned by someone else. Just wild. Ah. 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 Holes in the ground. Holes in the ground. Ah. It's hurting me. There's just so many bullies. So many bullies. Don't let them bother you, honey. This guy wants to fight me, too. He's a super creeper. Those super creepers, I hate them. When they were first made, they had a radius of, like, 35 blocks. And it was a pain because they would kill your villagers if they were anywhere near your farm. Even if they weren't near your farm, they'd still kill a bunch of villagers. So we all kind of banded together and were like, hey, can we stop this from happening? And the admin were like, yeah, that was a mistake. We don't know why that ended up being so... So wide of a radius. Hey, can you can you just give me one second? I'm gonna drink some coffee because my throat's getting really dry. I woke up maybe 30 minutes ago, an hour ago. Ooh, that's good. Mmm, Daddy Likey. I'm gonna put that back there. I'm gonna go inspect this house. See what's going on here. Maybe I can show you how to region. If a if an admin decides to get on or a moderator or someone, but you know I'm on, so for some reason that means that no one's gonna be on, no one's gonna join. This is a nice little cozy house. I can't wait to steal it. Is there any evidence of who owns this home? Any signs? No, nothing. Oh no, but I am dying. Those are all locked. <gasps> Help me. Help me, please. I'm just gonna... I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. There we go. So this looks to be some pretty fairly decent wild land. So what I'm gonna do is grab a block. I'm gonna grab two blocks <coughs> of anything that's around me here. I'm gonna go out here. Let's say I wanted to get this patch of ice. I want to become this guy's neighbor. I really appreciate this guy's work. I would like to be a part of what he's doing. I want to build a house next to him. So I'm going to place one here. Go one. I want, I want a house that is 10 by 10. So let's kind of decide that first. So this counts as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now I don't have to place a block here. Because I already placed one there. And if I go 1, 2, oh, that would be 2. So this is 1. All right, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this house would be ten by ten, as you can see. Now what I would do next is I would do help me regioning. But there are no admins on, so it's not gonna matter right now. But what I would do is since I said help me regioning, they know that I need regioning. So I would go into a queue, it might say that I'm first, second, third, whatever, in line to be helped. Once they get over here, I just know that I would like to region from dirt to dirt. And they'll let me know how much that costs. Since this is a 10 by 10 in the wild, wild land is 5F each. That should come out to 50. 10 by 10 is 1. 500, sorry. Really bad at math. Um, it should come out to 500F. 
for this area. So half a thousand, and you get a little house like that. So what I suggest doing is just saving, because you really don't need a place unless you need to store stuff, and even then chests are locked in the wild anyway. So you should be fine. I usually suggest to people that houses are something that you shouldn't get until you actually have enough money to do stuff. There are other items that in this game that aren't existent in other games. For example, um, you can always see, it's in all my videos, I have this stick of speed here. The stick of speed um, makes me go faster, in case that's not inherently obvious. I can actually go a lot faster. Um, I also have this thing, which I have nicknamed the Burninator. It's actually the Angelic Nightbane, a very, very rare item in the server. But it's one that a lot of people try to get their hands on. Why? Because it has 15 damage. So it's really, really powerful. It has a lot of energy to it. I can pretty much kill mobs in one hit. Um, yeah. People comment before on my double hearts, my double heart stack down there, which means um, what that pretty much is, is I have this thing. I've done it before. Oh. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there was that thing. I remember. Yeah, there's a glitch going on. I forgot about it. That, uh... If you have double hearts, you pretty much keep them forever. But yeah, I actually have a um, hat on. You can't see it right now, but I have a hat on. That um, if you have premium, like I do, you can see um, I have a blue name. So if I do Bell, that's just my money. Um, if I do message, well, I have a nickname too, so I can just message my nickname. It's a little bit faster. My name is Blue, which means that I am a donator, which means that I am premium. So being that I am premium with a reoccurring payment, I get a lot of extra stuff, so I get access to the hat command. And the game's clock no. And that was a restart to make sure that if anything ever happens to the server, everything is saved. A lot of people have a lot of money, actual real-life money invested into the server. A lot of people have their items and things invested into the server. So yeah, they always have a really good backup system. Um, people complain about it all the time, saying, oh, the server's down, the server's down. Well, what that is is because there was an issue or a security breach that um, what they did was they wanted to go back in and reset everything to the last refresh. So it's actually a really cool system. I think it does it every 6 or 12 hours. I don't remember. I don't remember. One of those. But if anything ever happens, you're just set back about 12 hours, which is fantastic. Yes, a lot can happen in 12 hours, but a lot can happen in 3 days, too. So I'm really glad that they have that system set up. But I was talking about the hat command. Being a part of premium, which you can get at foursouls.com, um, you get a lot of extra perks. One of them is the hat command. It's pretty much one of the only ones that I use. The other one is extra set homes. Now, when you start the game, if you do set home, you have a spot. So if I did set home, I can't do it now because I'm going to remove something very important. But set home um, sets your home. I, I can't explain that any further. I'm so sorry. It's just that's pretty simple. So you set home, and then you type home and you get teleported there being that I have five set homes being a premium member um, I would have to do home oops home home and then it would teleport me to my home home instead of just one because since I have five I have to do that you know you understand but um yeah premium is really good if you have a job if you have that I suggest it it's like I think 10 bucks or whatever I'm pretty sure it's 10 bucks a month I don't really worry about it <clears throat> I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination but I have 10 bucks to spare a month. I wouldn't notice out of my paycheck. I have, what, three jobs now? There's some graphic design work. I work at a lingerie store. That's not a joke, that's real. And I work for Clovis Unified every now and then. Dependent on that. So, <clears throat> that's like what? If I did a really good design for someone, I worked really hard at work, got a lot of hours, and I did something for Clovis Unified, Say I went on a field trip or something. Altogether, that's like, what, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 that I could make in one month? It's actually a lot more than that. Because that's based on the paychecks. I get two paychecks a month. So thirteen, four, dollars dollars That'd be like 1900 So, yeah. But that's, again, if I do great on everything and I decide to do the field trip thing. And even then, I'd lose hours at work. Other work. Real work. You know, the one that wants me to show up every day. So, yeah, I'm dying again. I got all this rotten flesh on me. I got all this rotten flesh on me. But, yeah. Um, so, you get that. You get the premium. You get all that extra stuff. Am I? Where am I? I think I'm nearing VC again. There's some other city. I don't know where I am. But I'm starting to get a little bit more cramped, which means that I'm getting close to a city. I might have gotten in a huge circle, and I'm going back to VC.
I think that this is on the way to VC, right? I just, yeah, I'm on my way. But, um, yeah, really good server. I love this server. Um, being a part of premium, it's really awesome. It's, like I said, if you have the means, I suggest grabbing. I finished my coffee. I'm really sad. Really, really sad. I'm sorry that I'm getting distracted a lot. It's just I'm tired and I'm trying to stay awake. And then the coffee's kicking in and I'm like, I'm, I am awake. What am I doing? I'm not pretending. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things going on in my brain right now. A lot more things. There's more voices right now than there normally are up in there. So, yeah, super excited about that. What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about next. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that is VC. I just went in a huge circle. Like, literally a giant circle. I want to theme a building again. It's a small building. I'm trying to get a larger building for the HQ. Because it's not really necessarily important to have it. But I think it's nice. I think it adds some more realistic aspect to the thing. as people take it more seriously. I'm trying to get a project started with... Um, I really want to get over there. I wish there was a way to connect. I really, I'm trying to get a project started where I can get multiple people from the servers, people from my Steam, a lot of friends um, who make YouTube videos. We're going to do like almost like a shared channel so that they would all be under the below average gaming network. So say that it would be um, like the Sternator, my other channel, my personal channel, the Sternator. So it would be the Sternator under below average gaming channel or in cooperation with the below average gaming channel. And we'd all have that. So we'd have our own channels and we'd have this one so that we could share subscribers. It'd be cool. Right? It'd be really nice. I think it'd be cool. So here's my office that I'm working on. In the city, blocks are 20 F per. Um, but I got this one on a deal from a friend who wasn't using it anymore. I don't quite remember how much I paid. But down here's going to be a little lobby area. Um, with rules about the channel. All sorts of good stuff there. Over here is going to be basically the rest of the building. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know if I want an office here on the mid floor. Or if I want an office here on top and just have a bigger office. I'm, I'm leaning a little bit more towards this because I can actually put stuff over here. But who knows, we'll see someday, maybe. Maybe in this episode, maybe in the next episode, who knows, maybe, you know, whatever, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, you know how that works, yeah. So, yeah, thanks so much for checking out, hanging out. Um, what should we, you know what, I am going to decorate that. I'm going to decorate that right now. Give me one sec. Let's go back to the house, back to the facility, actually. I'm going to go back here to the facility. Grab some stuff and we can make that a little nice little office, yeah? Da? Da. I agree. That. It's a lot of sugar cane. Um, that doesn't belong there. Um, what's there? Was that exactly 64? Wow. What are the odds? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Take some of that, some of that, some of that. Some brick. This. this. Take that. One of dams. I don't even know what I'm getting all this stuff for. I just feel like it might be important in the future. Give the four gimmicker. Doors to an office, always. Super down. Got super downs. That wasn't bad taste. Come on, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. Hello there, Tuck the Boss. How are you? You see what happens? You see me in server, you get a shout out in video. That's how that works. For those of you who aren't aware, if you see me in the server, you get a shout out. I also do this every now and then just so we can see who's playing right now. Look at those people. All these people are technically getting a shout out right now. My good friend Toxic Rain just returned to the server after being on hiatus for a little while. So really glad to see him back. And there he goes. He's gone now. So how should I do this? How should I do this? I really wish there was a mod on. But as per usual, there's not one on when I'm playing. I think they avoid me, but it's fine. I mean, it's whatever, so 
I just my sad little life. Mm, I don't even know where to get started. I'm not good at soul interior decorating thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to set this up. Actually, this is going to be the office space here. Okay? That's what I've decided right now. So let's get that set up. This used to be a shop. I remember that back in, back in my day. Back in my day, this was a shop. You know that? You know about that? You're the grandpa. We all know. Yeah, I yeah, am, yeah, you know. Back in, back in my day, this used to be a shop. They sold all sorts of things. They sold cobblestone. They sold... That's about it. Just the cobblestone. That, that's all they really sold. They didn't do well. As you can see, they are out of business. Put this here. Like a little desk. That's too much desk. That's more desk than I want. Much less desk. Much less. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think I'm gonna make this desk a little bit wider. Make it a little bit more fancy. Too much desk. Too much desk. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> She's got a smile, and it seems to me he reminds me of childhood memories. As deep in as something is something in bright blue sky. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, this child of mine. I really only need one door. But this will be fine too. There's my fancy chair. I don't like that chair design. <gasps> it's the end of days. We gotta get out of here. We gotta break everything. We gotta get out of here. Do I have signs? I should have signs. I could have sworn that I had signs with me, but I brought signs with me. I can make some. I got. I brought a lot of wood. I got a lot of wood. You kids like wood? I got a lot of wood. Let me show you. Today is just a day of voices, isn't it? Just a voicey day. That's my sticks. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Now next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a nice little armchair. Doesn't that sound nice? Build a nice little armchair. Yeah, I think that sounds nice. We're gonna build a nice little armchair here. I'm like a, I'm like cool boss, feng shui. So rather than having a regular chair, I got this nice little slouchy chair. You see that? Cause I'm a cool boss. You see? I'm probably gonna replace that later. With something else. But yeah, yeah. Put that there for now. This is the basic layout. So we got that. We have everything here. So this is the rest of the office. I might put some plants. Ooh, plants. That'd be cool. Thank you. Put that there. That's too high. There. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about removing that entire ceiling 
and just having a really high office. Yeah, this is going to be the office headquarters here. Looked up that thing from SpongeBob Leaf Erickson Day. Turns out that is real. 100% real. Leaf Erickson Day. Yeah, I know. I was surprised too. I know you're surprised and you're going to be like, what? You're looking it up right now on Google. I know you are. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in the house. I'm in the house with you. I know. We're going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better dance. Let's make a night. You won't remember. I'll be the one who crapped his pants. Whoa, whoa, timber. Do 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 All that stuff, all that wood. Go look at all that wood. Go look at all that wood. Bow, ba down, bam, bam, ba down, bam, bam, ba down, bam. Yo, when I walk on by, girls be looking like I don't know. Hmm, hey, don't want to deal with that. That's what they say when they walk on by. It's really sad. I'm over it a little bit. Still cry about it every now and then, but you know how that is. What am I doing here? I'm looking for inspiration to hit me. Any inspirations to hit me, yes? Da? Nine? Nine. Little hit there. I bought this building, actually, and what had happened was, when I bought it, it had all this stuff already in it. So that was pretty groovy. Came with a bunch of stuff. I haven't really gone through everything. I was just like, oh, cool. Free stuff. Anything in these I should be aware of? Whole thing there. Yeah. Because when I first had this building, I think I think it was this building. I had this building a long time ago. And uh, what had happened was. I put all these chests down here. I think, again, this might not be true. I think I put all these chests down here and I unlocked them because I had multiple people in the same region who were helping with stuff. And then someone else came and they put their stuff in there and so on and so forth after I sold it and people just kept on putting their stuff there. So now there's just a bunch of unlocked chests with a bunch of stuff in there and the person's not coming back. Yeah. I want to buy this building too. I think that'd be cool if I could get this whole stretch. But I don't know who owns this. Ah, uh, a hobo hero. I'll ask him. I'll see if maybe he wants to sell. But, I did have something in there that I wanted to get a hold of in my shop. Ha ba 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 just walking back and forth. I know that you're getting super excited by this. But this is progress, you know? This is how things get done. You can't spell business without progress. I mean, yes you can. I don't have hardly any of the same letters. They both end in S. E-S-S. -S, I think, but that's, I think, the extent of it. Okay, let's go ahead and see if maybe we can make a villager real quick before I end the video. ha ba 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 Wanna damn and wanna damn. Gonna come right back over here, yeah? To the villager making area. Oh look, it's a little baby. Oh look, it's a nun. Oh look, it's a nothing. This is my newest guy. All these guys died. Every single one of these guys died since the last time. There's a big explosion, they all died. This is Bill, as you can see. Bill's a good friend of mine. In case you're curious how I named him Bill, all you gotta do is, um, when you're curing a zombie, um, while they're still a zombie villager, rename them, and then when they get cured, they'll they'll still have that name that you renamed them with. You can tell really easily by when I go to my farm over here, my really noisy, loud farm over here. 
Some of them still have um, egg. So these ones are all mated. Oh, that one is a zombie egg. And they'll keep that name. It's really fun to do. Like if you like, my one of my favorite things to do is uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's freak people out. Let's do a little pranky pranky thing. <clears throat> I'm dying. My body. She hurt. Yes, my body is a girl. My mind is a man. Literally a man trapped in a woman's body. No, I'm 100% male. I'm like the U.S. Postal Service. 100% male. Nothing else. So let's do this. There we go. Now all I gotta do is go find a mob. I wonder where I'll find a mob at. Maybe this huge open area where they seem to spawn on the daily. None? Wow. It's convenient. Let's find a spot where a mob can kill me. Preferably like a zombie or a skeleton. Sometimes there's some over here. You know, daytime probably isn't the best time to do this. But you know how it is. You know, sometimes you just gotta do whatever it takes to get things done. Right? So I built a whole another world in single player. And I was like, I wanna, yeah, look at this. I built this whole world in single player. You know, I'm gonna use this for a uh, future episode. It's back at the Helenati thing from the season finale of the last episode. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be great. It's gonna go back to that plot point, do some stuff there, maybe do some actual acting in them instead of just all this like commentary stuff and do some actual acting. And I'm like, oh no, it's the Helenati. Oh, I'm so scared. But yeah, you know. Maybe not. Can't go that way. Oh, I know what to do. I'll just go to the nether. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, meow. I'm out of you too. I've been to VC a thousand times already today. Not feeling it. Really not feeling it, but whatever. Um, ba 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 I have a big open spot in my tunnel over here. I don't know if I should do this tunnel. I should do this tunnel. The access way to this. I should have. I don't know why I wouldn't have. I just bumped the microphone. I'm sorry about that. I actually touched it lightly with my hand, but to you it probably sounds like. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. I'm also sorry that I just made that horrible noise. But there's usually zombie pigment in here, and if not, I'll just take the access way. Let's see if we can find one. I've never gone through so much trouble to die. Oh no, oh no, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Don't die by fire, can't die by fire. Gotta stay alive, gotta stay alive, gotta stay alive for the joke. Oh thank god. Okay. There we go. So now I can just hit that guy. He'll come attack me. There we go. There it is. The Sternator was slain by Commando Beta. And now we wait. But that's basically how you do that. I'll show you again here. The Sternator was slain by Commando Beta. That's how you do that. So I showed you a little bit how to get started. Showed you a little bit of fun you can have on the server. Freaking people out. I was really freaking out right now. I guess it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, people want me to die. That's just kind of how life works sometimes. But yeah. So, really fun episode. I'm really glad you could be a part of it. I'm really glad that I could be here to be a part of it. Maybe next time that we come in, I'll have some actual plans on um what to do with that building. I want to get a build bigger building. I got that one, and I bought it. And I was like, yeah, I can use this for headquarters. Immediately looked at it, and was like, oh, this is very small. This is very small. This is a lot smaller than I was hoping for, for an HQ. But I have it, and I want to use it. Maybe I'm going to use this for the office building, and put another studio somewhere else. So hopefully next time you come in, we'll have a studio ready and set up. Um, Yeah, that should be fun, right? Make one in single player, come back, deal with that. 
But yeah, so here's the ending of the video. I know you've been waiting for the ending for a long time. Um, but thank you to everyone who watched the first season. Thank you to everyone who's going to be watching the second season. I appreciate you even more than the people watching the first season. You know why? Because you actually came back. You had the choice to come back, and you did it. You actually were like, you know what? I'm going to come back, and I'm going to support him. I appreciate everything that he's doing with the community and helping people get through their issues and their problems. So I'm really glad, and I'm going to watch the rest of his videos. You should. You really should watch the rest of my videos. Because I, I, you know, I don't make them to be like, I need to get those views. Those sweet, sweet views. Gotta get that YouTube money. No, I make them so that I'm like, you know, I think that these would be fun to make. And I like them, so I'm gonna make them. So yeah, that's what I do. I go in and I just make them for myself. Because of me. But, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything that you do to help support the channel. I appreciate you. You the best, truly. And, uh, goodbye.